Beautiful colors, eh? Huh? Whatever it is. Mm. Mm. The flavor of Egypt. Right, basically, the guy was was pointing the knife at me. Yeah, because I mean, I won't hide it. That was a bit scary. Here we have a lady selling corn and uh, a small market. People is buying fruits and, you know, fresh vegetables. And one of the signals that you are in a more working class area is that often the walls in the buildings are unfinished. There's no plaster on top, but just bare bricks. The gentleman here is doing kibda, which is very, it's a uh, liver. Locals love liver, beautiful. Pomegranates. I'm very happy to make you try something unique. That's hummus is sham. Hummus is, uh, I don't ever remember it in English, wait. So now he's adding chili. And there, it's got hummus is sham, especially in winter, it's fantastic. It makes you hot. And here, he has tamarind. And you see the gas here to eat it up? Ah, that's gonna be delicious. And basically now we're gonna drink these and then eat the chickpeas. That's, wow, this is real Egypt, guys. This is real Egypt. It's gonna be pretty hot. Oh. I love the flavor. It's really spicy, but wow. And there you see the rabbits. Ready. Where are you? Are you or Master? No, I'm a Nabi. Kid was looking at me, it's like, what is he shooting at? It's like an open air, hello. It's like an open air living room they created. Another donkey over there. He's eating patatas. This one, did you see the cart before going by? That's sweet patatas. Milano chef. Ana bahab mamu Donkey there. Of course, the charger of my phone. as usual and these ones are tuk-tuks which are a very cheap way okay let's see what's over there let's see where this leads us there is a bridge over there but i don't want to go there this is microbus Another cheap way of transport. So the kids outside calling for people. Once the trip, once the micro bus is filled, it will start going. Asaitak? Doesn't want help. Manautelak. There you go. Of course, a sad sight to see is all the stray dogs that are around. And we're almost done with the almost sham. I think it's about time to to eat the the chickpeas. There you go. Chickpeas soaked in this delicious, uh, spicy. Whatever it is. Mm. Mm. The flavor of Egypt. And now the hard part, to find the garbage. Oh. 
You see? I talk too early. We're in Madi, man. There you go. Thank you. And there, once again, bananas. People love bananas here and they grow locally. They're called Moz. And if you see a beautiful girl, she's called Moza, which is a colloquial term of saying beautiful girl. I don't know if it's polite, but Moza, Moz. So we also learn Egyptian Arabic here. Buildings are just huge, man. They're colossal. They look kind of Soviet. The guy is peeing over there. A beautiful pee in the sunset. But anyway, yeah, I mean, they're squares and... And here we've got more of these huge Soviet-style towers. There's always been a strong connection between Egypt and Russia. There is a... Hello, there is an incredible monument next to Aswango, check it out, next to the Haida. Egypt and Russia have always been close. I mean, it was a love and hate relationship, but I mean, I'm pretty sure these buildings... The Arab contractors for investments? Anyway, they just scream Soviet Union, you know? And here... The Galaxy Cinema. But I'm sure it has seen better times, you know? And more of these Soviet towers. Wow, wow. Let's see, let's see if we find the Nile, come on. See, I told you a lot of foreigners living here. I think the Nile is over there. I hope the Nile at sunset is beautiful. Let's see if these kids, let's see if this gang. Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Why? Why? I should me. Good, look good. Okay, okay. You know. Together, no? No. No. Okay, thank you. Well, guys, we made it to the Nile. Unfortunately, uh, I could that there was an, an epic sunset, but I couldn't shoot it because my phone is full, my MacBook is broken, and uh, and there's a felucca over there, by the way. I don't know if you can you can see it there. The elegant felucca, the shape of the sail is amazing. You see, if you guys want, you can also. Rent a boat. Do I much like more the felucca? Much like more. Well, man, my English isn't getting better. It's in this boat that I have no idea where it goes. So let's go. Come here, Basha. Two pounds and a half. That's like fifteen cents. Hello. Yes. What's your name? My name is Omar. You are uh, German? Half Egyptian, half Italian. Italian. Half, you half are, Egyptian. You are Muslim? Alhamdulillah. Allah. Are you? Allah. Let's breathe up. Let's go. Oh, this guy's going with a, with a bike. I think we can also get on the second floor. Let's see if we can go up. Ah, this is pretty dope. Yeah, look at that. And those are the felucas I was telling you before. I don't know if I told you before. Look at the view, man. This is cool. All right, let's go. Beautiful colors, eh? eh? So there's a kind of natural island here and we arrived on the other side. And 
now I have no idea at all where we are. Though it's less busy here compared to the other side. Right, basically the guy was was pointing the knife at me. Sorry if now I don't have the better video, but uh, it's so crazy because as he jumped off the boat, he starts asking me why I was shooting his cafe. And he, he pointed knife like, delete your uh, thingy. So now the, the images are not gonna be the best, but I can't shoot properly. Is I want. Yeah, because I mean, I won't hide it. That was a bit scary. And it's so strange because right off the other side of the Nile, there is Mahadi, which is one of the poshiest area in Egypt. And we just crossed the river and we're in another reality. On my right, you've got a small river they use to fertilize, uh, to irrigate the plants and crops of pounds. I think finally there, there is like a more, a bigger road with traffic, which I wouldn't mind. So basically the guy was like, what are you shooting? Was pointing the knife of me and shot like that. Vlogging here is not easy, never said it was. Especially because probably it's an area, this one you see, they rarely see foreigners. And I say, don't worry, man, I delete the video. I mean, the guy was particularly aggressive, but fair enough. Let's go now in a dark alley. Basically, if you go this way behind me, you get to Giza. Yes, that's where the pyramids are, but you know, it's not famous to be the safest place in Cairo. So that probably spreads over. I'm in front of this huge chimney. I mean, this main road looks better. There are banks, gas station. And probably manual in daytime, it's amazing, but I just want to get away from here now. And I know I ordered an Uber, so some of my, some of my followers are going to be angry. Sometimes they're like, why do you show these parts of Egypt? But I show everything, you know? Think of me like somebody doing a documentary and I just, you know, I just shoot what I see around me. Well, let's wait for the Uber now. Guys, we're safe and sound with Mr. Asharaf. He's gonna take us now to Zamalek. And yep, if you wanna know more about what's happening on the other side of the river in Mahadi, 